We will include that late, later, but uh, we will go ahead now to the Word of God. Amen. If you have your Bible, so please help me to turn it in the book of uh, John, chapter 11. If I'm not mistaken, I need to open it. Okay. Hallelujah. Okay. So before we read that uh, particular verse, Amen. This story in the Bible is about these three siblings and Jesus Christ, including Jesus Christ. So my prayer is that this story will open our eyes, amen, to, to the love and compassion and power of the Lord Jesus Christ in our life. Amen. Because this is a true story in the Bible. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. And John had a special relationship with Jesus that in fact John writes about himself as the one Jesus loved. Jesus loved everyone, of course, because God is not a respecter of person. But there was a special band between Jesus and John so much so that when Jesus was crucified and hanging on the cross, Jesus put John over the care of his mother. Amen. Amen. It is this John that tells us this true story in chapter 11 of the Gospel of John. Hallelujah. So in our text this afternoon, the Bible said, A man named Lazarus was sick. He lived in Bethany with his sisters, Mary and Martha. This is, this is the Mary who later poured the expensive perfume on the Lord's feet and, and wiped them with her hair. Her brother Lazarus was sick. So the two sisters sent a message to Jesus telling him, Lord, your dear friend is very sick. Okay. Hindi na yung show up, sister. Hindi siya nagkasunod-sunod. That's right. Because I'm, I, I'm, I'm reading it a new uh, NLT version. Okay. So let us come to the Lord in prayer and let us ask His power, His anointing to be upon my life, my mind, my heart, my whole life. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you so much for this particular verse that you, you give it to us, Lord. I pray, God, a double portion of your anointing that envelop me. Use me, O oh God, to preach your word with love, with power, with boldness, O oh God. And let every soul this, in this house be receptive Hallelujah. In the preaching of your word. Give them a sensitive heart, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give them a worshiper heart. God, that they might respond, O oh God, upon the preaching of your word. I pray also and we include, Lord, healing for Sister Virginia Samway, Lord. He is suffering from diabetes, O oh God, and infection of COVID-19, O oh God. By the authority of your word, we command the name of Jesus Christ to bring healing upon this mother, O oh God, that there will be a miraculous moving of your power upon her life, O oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ, thank you so much, Lord, for that response and power of your spirit. Lord, we dedicate this moment to you, Lord. Speak to your people. Release the power of your word, God. Hallelujah. That there will be a great phenomenon outpouring of the Holy Ghost in this place today, oh God. Prepare our soul. Prepare our mind. Prepare our spirit, Lord, to worship you in spirit and in truth, oh God. And do not let your people, God, is screwed up in this room, Lord, without, hallelujah, the powerful moving of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, we claim revival, we claim deliverance, oh God, we claim restoration, oh God, hallelujah. We claim, oh God, baptism of the Holy Ghost, we claim baptism in water in Jesus' name. To God 
God be the glory. And we bring back to you the glory, thanksgiving, and honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Everybody say praise the Lord. Amen. Before we take our seat, I want to give this message from the Lord in His title. Rise above. The people say, Katabi, are you ready to rise about? Amen. God bless you and you may take your seat now. We know that the enemy is trying, amen, praise God, to drag you down. He's trying to give you a depression. There are afflictions that we encounter in our life. And sometimes we are affected. But I come to you to preach to you about you need to rise above. You need to rise over your affliction. You need to rise above over your problem. You need to rise above any situation or any circumstances that we are facing in our life. We need to rise above over our pain, over our sickness, over our struggle. It's time for you, church, to come out inside the box of the situation. Hallelujah. It's time for you to unfold your wings and you need to stop. Rise above. In my worship, I need to rise above. In my prayer. It's time for you, church. Come out like a box. It needs to rise above. Can we give a hand clap of worship? The scripture that we have read while ago is about the raising of Lazarus. Inside the cave. Inside the grave. And sometimes it's hard to release because there are stones that cover in our revival. Uh -huh. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. If you remember that there are there was a close family in the Bible, as I have mentioned to you a while ago, they were siblings. Whose name were Mary, Martha, and Lazarus. And they were all close friends with Jesus. Uh -huh. amen. Shall we say amen? amen? And Jesus was teaching in the town some distance away. About one day's trouble away. Amen. From where Mary, Martha, and Lazarus were. And during the time, Lazarus became very, very sick. Amen. Amen. So Mary and Martha sent a word to Jesus. Hindi pa uso nun ang text. But they sent the word, maybe somebody, there is a runner, whoever person to bring that uh, message to the Lord Jesus Christ, amen. that your dear friend, Lord, amen, Lazarus is sick. Amen. And it is one one day travel, one day journey before you reach the place where Jesus is. And this is Jesus' response when he heard about Lazarus. In verse 4, the Bible said in 5 and 6, But when Jesus heard about it, he said, Lazarus' sickness will not end into death. No. It happened for the glory of God. So that the Son of God will receive glory from that situation. So although Jesus loved Martha, He loved Mary and Lazarus according to our scripture. Amen. Jesus stayed where He was for the next two days. Amen. Amen. But Jesus and Lazarus and Martha, they are close friends. Amen. 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 Uh, 
B is F. Best friend forever. Forever. But the Bible said he stayed for two days. That's supposed to be if you are close friend together. Pag nabalitaan mo yung friend mo, mga kapatid, kahit saan sulok ng Queen Mary Hospital, tuputahan mo, right? But Jesus is different. Amen? Why? Si friend ko talaga nakalimutan na niya ako. Di man lang niya ako tinalaw kung saan ako ng hospital. But Jesus is different. He stayed where he was for the next two days pa. But Lazarus, he there, is very, very sick until he died. You know, church, Jesus has a plan and knows exactly what he is doing. He knows what he's going to do here in this place. He knows that everything is going to be okay. He knows exactly, church, what he's going to do and how it will bring to the glory of God. Even sometimes maybe in your thinking that Jesus is late. Hallelujah. Kailan man, hindi po na late ang Diyos. If God come, He come in a exact time. He come with His own time, not your time. or a message he did not send any note back in return to Mary and Martha that telling them that what his plan was he just stayed where he was for two more days hello but I as I have said a while ago everything God is in control. Yeah. How many of us, church, have had a situation, have a circumstances, an issue in our life where you have sent out a message to God? Nakaranas tayo, nagpray ka na, nagfast ka pa, and you're you cried out to God, cried out to Jesus, and it seems like He's out to us. Na parang parang hindi niya naririnig, walang response mga kapatid. And you tell Him your issues, your circumstances, and it seems like He's gone for two more days. Not only two more days, it seems like gone for two more months or two more years with so much as no. Or a message. Amen. Wala man lang maramdaman ka ng response. Amen. Every day na yung pinagpipray. Every day mga kapatid. That you mention every day that prayer request in the presence of God. But until now, you never receive any response. And you tell him your issue, your circumstances. We know so much as no, or a message, or any signs that everything is going to be okay. And yet, all the while, he's got a plan, my church. But he is, has not revealed the plan to you. He is silent. Hello. And it may be a long time before he responds to you. And some of you maybe may still be waiting until now. Hello. Marami po tayong mga prayer requests na hanggang ngayon. We are expecting that the Lord responded to our requests. But I want to tell you, Jesus reason, hallelujah, for not going to Mary and Martha and Lazarus was that he allowed to this happen to that who that he could bring the glory of God and so that he would be glorified according to the word of God it is not that he didn't love them church 
It is here. Although Jesus loved Martha and Mary and Lazarus, he stayed where he was for the next two days. Everybody say amen. amen. Yes, we know that Jesus loves them very much. Hello? Yes. He loves them very much. But he had a plan for them. Yes. And for God's glory is to be revealed by what he was going to do. Yes. Right. Amen. Yes. Hello? You know, Jesus let things happen in the lives of Martha and Mary and Lazarus to teach them to have faith and trust in God even when they didn't understand his reasoning behind his delay we need to trust God we need to stand on his promises because I believe that God has a plan for you too. He sees the fear that you have today. He sees the trouble and struggles and oppression that you are encountered in your life. He sees the hurt that you have in your life. He sees the worry that you have. But hallelujah, Jesus has a plan for you. Can we give him a hand clap of worship? Kahit ang pakiramdam mo, malayo ang Diyos. Hallelujah, pakiramdam mo lang yan. Feeling mo lang yan. Look at the promise of God that He will never leave you nor forsake you. He allows the things to happen in our life, church, to teach us to trust Him and have faith in Him. And sometimes he makes us to wait. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sometimes he teaches us to wait. Amen. Because in the process of waiting, marami pong na board. Yes. When we talk about waiting, it for with sacrifice. Oh, yes. Don't tayo tinitest ng Panginoon sa waiting. Yes, amen. Hello? Sa tagal na nag-wait bago magbukas ang church, hindi nakakarating sa church. Laging nag-wait, Sister Elsie. Pero salamat sa nakatiis. Hallelujah. We are still here because we learn how to wait upon the Lord. We learn hallelujah because God is ready to renew our spirit. God is always ready to restore our heart, our mind. Hallelujah. Because hallelujah, if you wait upon the Lord, hallelujah, revival is still happening in your life. He allowed things to happen in our lives. To teach us to trust Him. Amen. Remember church. He does not work on our time schedule. Amen. Hmm? He works in His time. Amen. So you should wait. In God's time, He will reveal Himself. Basta marunong kang mag In God's time, He will show Himself and work into your situation. Hallelujah. But you need to wait upon the Lord and He shall renew your strength and He wants you up until you pray to receive what He has for you. Jesus troubles with his disciple to where Lazarus, right? To where Mary and Martha are. And while they are troubling, Jesus tells them this in verse 7. Amen. I, I like this uh, line. And finally, after two days, 
Ano na kaya niya ang nangyari yung pasyente nila? <laughs> Natayan! <laughs> After two days, Jesus travels with His disciple to where Lazarus and Mary and Martha are. And while they are troubling, Jesus tells them this in verse 7. Finally, He said to His disciple, Let's go back to Judea. Nagulat kayo ito mga apostol. Judea. Napaka-dangerous place na yun. Munti ka nang mamatay ito. Lord. Hello? But his disciple objected. Nag-object sila, nag sila. Why? Because the Bible said, Rabbi, teacher, they said, only a few days ago, the people in Judea were trying to stone you. Are you going there again? Pagkasama mo ang Panginoon, kahit ilang tulinada pang bato ang nakahap. Kahit alang tunis na bato ang nakarini sa iyo. Hallelujah! Kung kasama mo ang Panginoon sa iyong paglalampay, wala kang dapat ikatakot mga kapatid. If God is be with you, who can be against you? But these people objected. These people, hallelujah, resist that you have been there. Are you going again there, Rabbi? But Jesus replied, Oh, there are 12 hours of daylight every day. During the day, people can walk safely. They can see because they have the light of this world. Salamat kapag kasama mo ang Panginoon. You have the light in this world. Even though you don't know your direction. But here is the Lord God. Hallelujah. He will always lighten your way. And He will bring you into the pathway. Hallelujah. Of your journey in the Lord. During the day, people can walk safely. They can see because they have light of this world. Thank God, He is the light of this world. Pagkasama natin siya, mga kapatid. Pero but the night, there are danger of stumbling because they have no light. Once na humiwalay ka na sa Panginoon, titiyakin ko ang iyong daanan madilim na. Somebody say Amen. Hallelujah. And verse 11. Praise God. Then he said, Oh, friend Lazarus, have fallen asleep, but now I will go and wake him up. Kahit siguro two days, three days pa na malate ang Panginoon. Hallelujah. My purpose siya sa ating buhay. While you are here, hallelujah. Para bigyan ka ng buhay, ng revival ng Panginoon. Hallelujah. The reason you are here, hallelujah. God expected you that before you leave this place, there will be a great fire of the Holy Ghost that is going to strike your life. Oh, hallelujah. Pero ito. Sabi ng Panginoon, pupunta tayo doon. Gigisingan natin yung natutulong. Kaya masarap mamatay sa Panginoon. Gigisingin ka lang pala. Oh. I will go and wake him up. And the disciples said, Lord, if he is sleeping, he will soon get better. Ayon ang pagkaunawa ng mga disciple that Lazarus is only sleeping. They thought Jesus meant Lazarus was simply sleeping, but Jesus meant Lazarus had dead. Kaya ang isang Kristiyano, if you are a faithful Christian serving the Lord, when you die, you are not dying. You are only sleeping. In the sight of God, not a male. 
Masarap umuwi sa Panginoon. Nakasama natin ang Panginoon. And in turn, they thought Jesus meant Lazarus was simply sleeping. But Jesus meant Lazarus had died. So he told them plainly, plainly, Lazarus is dead. And for your sakes, ah, ito ang maganda sa Panginoon eh, alang-alang sa inyo na walang pananampalataya. That's why my dessert is you want to go with me. And I'm glad that I wasn't there. And for now, you will really believe. God, make it up. Let's go and see Him. Then my pangako ako pumunta ko don. Gigisingin ko siya para makita nyo. Hallelujah. Kung ano ang magagawa ng Dios. Hallelujah. Ang misaya magkasama niyo. That's the reason why I am glad that I was not there. What's the reason for you to believe? Amen. Because some of the apostles, there are, uh, they are still had a spirit of doubt. Amen. Hanggang sa saan sila pumunta, baka ba di daladala yung spirit ng doubt? Diyak ba? Diyak kita? And that's why Jesus said, come! Sumurot kayo! Let's go to see him! Him! So Jesus tells his disciples that Lazarus is dead. Amen? In fact, he'd been dead for four days. Four days! Marami ng kape at tinapay, nanay, na konsumo, na managlamay apat na kape. But can you imagine the anguish of Mary and Martha? Their brother had died. Yes, amen. Their friend Jesus was not there when it happened. Hello? And he didn't come to them right away. So the emotions and fears and doubt were running high and the first person to come running to Jesus is Martha. Ito na yung mga apostoles with Jesus going to Bethany. Praise God. And along the road, itong si Martha excited na mimit ang Panginoon. Pero tapos na ang lamay. Ito ka na yung stress. Naipunpunin niya. Naitabog na mga kapatid. There is already internment happening. But Martha was the active one and always busy doing, doing, doing and trying to figure things out. She was the one who complained to Jesus about her sister not helping in the kitchen while preparing a meal in Caesarea. And Jesus had not set her straight. Hello? And Martha came to him and said in 16, Thomas nicknamed the twin, the twin, said to his fellow disciples, Let's go to. Says, Jesus, come, come with me. 